Christian yeah. or you non Christian, non Christian, yeah. how can you prove what you believe is the truth? How can you prove that? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, I know what you're saying is that what I have to say is subjective. Of course, it is subjective. It is subjective. But you <laughs> asked me the first question that you asked yeah. me was when am I going to become a Muslim? Yeah, alhamdulillah. And I said to you, never because I've been enlightened. Now, once I've experienced the truth in my life, I don't think personally that there's anything that you can say that could bring me out of that belief because it's become factual in my life. Yeah, but you just agree it's subjective, which can be can change. Okay. Well, it's subjective. If you, if, you, if you can change it, go for it, I'm listening. Okay, is it possible for someone to be perfect and become baby someone changes nappy? Is it, say that again. Is sorry. it possible for someone is almighty, perfect, has no beginning, no end, the greatest, yeah. the creator, the all-powerful, become small baby, someone changes nappy? There is a purpose that Jesus, you're obviously talking about Jesus, right? I'm asking you, forget about purpose, okay. but I'm just saying, is it possible? It is possible, yeah. It's possible, yeah? yeah. It is All right. possible. Alhamdulillah, that, yeah. so it's possible for the Almighty, it, it, the, in, uh, in perspective, so all powerful. Jesus Christ Him coming out. into this earth, born as a baby, if that's what you're saying, but the way the, the words that you're saying to make it sound foolish, it is possible, so, you're making it sound foolish. Okay, when, when he was a baby, was he all powerful? He was fully God and fully man. Fully yeah. God. So he was changing the number of God. May I help you? No, I can't. You're not listening. Yeah, purpose so, okay. wise, yeah? The purpose that he done that was the purpose that he come onto this earth to be a bond servant to show us as an example of how we should live. That he was the son of God, fully God and fully man. So does, does God know how the animal should live? Does God know how the animal should, should live? live? yeah. What do you oh. mean on that? Can you elaborate? Okay, on does God know, has a perfect knowledge, he knows in detail better than anyone else how the animals live? Of course he does. Okay. Does God know how we should live our life in details perfectly? Does He know? Yeah. yeah of course he does. So there's no need for Him to become to become something which negate His. his it's not about Him. Let me, it's let me about finish. Us yeah, that's what I'm saying. The animals. So, that's what I'm saying. So we don't. Animals don't know as well. So He should become. If someone says God become a rat, if someone says God become a rat, the paradox is, even though He said God become a rat, is a paradox because why? Is that is created? God is not. God is uncreated. The fact that you're going to say he become a creator, what you're saying, the creator who created everything, become created. Okay. That is a paradox. So if someone said to you, you know what? I believe God become a rat. You know, do you know why? I'm not going to allow you to prove to me intellectually why God is possible for to become a rat. Because that doesn't make any sense. I'm going to say the purpose being because he wants to teach the rat how to be a rat. Would you see, accept that? See, see what it is. What it is. Yeah, he will lie. Of course, the way that you explained it, of course, it's not going to make sense. The truth is that Jesus Christ. Why is not going to make sense? No, so to cut you. Of God. Can sense. So, standard that we are right. We can do all this religious stuff. What about, what about Moses? One of all of these people to say that we're in this righteous and holy place and represent ourselves before man but the truth is is no man in their own ability can stand in that position that was the reason why Jesus was the job Christ righteous? Was the he was holy was the job and right? he was righteous the prophet died on the cross there was an exchange that happened God died on the cross he can now step into that place of holiness and righteousness based on what Christ done by faith so no, 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 wait, wait, wait. So are you telling religion, me, no, no, wait, no, look, he's, no he's preaching. No, 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 you have to laugh. I'm so are you not, you no, 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 Prophet Job was a righteous man. Was, was Prophet Job a righteous man? In the Bible said Job was a righteous man. To the best of his ability, yes. He was not in need, no, 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 he was not in need, allow me to finish. He was not in need of course to become a baby for Job to be a righteous man, to claim a righteous Let me finish. You said that because we know that righteous, so God came into flesh to show us righteousness and to die for our sins because we cannot be the prophets and the messengers. Old Testament, God never died for them and God called them a righteous. So therefore, you is wrong and sexually, you go and guess the Old Testament. And explain that to you. So when when the John the Baptist said, "Behold, the Lamb of God, which has come to take away the sins of the world," the people of that day understood what the Lamb of God meant. And I'm going somewhere to they understood what the Lamb of God meant to be the sacrificial system that was in place in them times. When we look at the system, what we need to understand is that 
sacrificial system was a foreshadow of Christ. So when one put faith into the sacrificial system, it was a natural manifestation at the time that something happened in the spirit. Hence why it said... You have to ask my question. Hence why I am. Hence why That's why said, a Christian elected like to preach. the foundations of the world, the Lamb of God was slain. What was my question? You were talking about, was Job righteous? No, that was not my question. I, I passed that already. Okay. I, was, my, I said to you clearly that in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament... In the, uh, let me to finish now. In the Old Testament... Because you know, Christians have to give it to them. They're good at preaching, but I'm not dealing with the point. I was going somewhere. No, no. But you didn't the old prophets and messengers in the Old Testament, yeah? yeah? They were called righteous. What you even. To no, wait, wait. Let me to finish. To all the prophets and messengers, I challenge you right now. Show me where the prophets and the messengers in the Old Testament. They were saying we cannot be righteous until someone died for our sins. Go on. That's my question. And I'm going to explain it. No, 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 answer my question. Don't tell me your life story. Because you know you're going to answer. You want me to answer a sentence so your cameras can look silly. I'm not scared then. I'm not scared. I'm talking. You can answer any question. You guys have stood here. In a way. Half or not? Before you explain. Okay, show me the prophet. Let me repeat again. No, let me repeat again. No, let me repeat again. No, let me repeat again. Show me any prophet in the Old Testament say you cannot be righteous and you die for your sins. Show me. Say again. Foundation I asked you that question. That's not my question. My question, my, qu my question was to you. My question was clearly. Show me in the Old Testament which sacrificial system at that time in that place. They asked the question. They asked God will accept your repentance. My point here clearly, the Old Testament teaches you anyone off is being cursed. The Old Testament teaches you that you should go for your sins. No one, no one sins. Okay. So my question was to you clearly. Can you show me in the Old Testament? Believe clearly God. Okay. My brothers and sisters, the Old Testament. Okay, does the Old Testament teach you responsible for your sins? So, so are we changing the question? Are you not going to let me answer? I'm going to show that's the same one. Oh, let me repeat again. That's in the Old Testament. The prophets and the messengers were teaching the people you cannot be righteous until someone yeah, died for you. Sin, let, you have to that was you done have to, the let me finish. Let me, sh let me finish. You cannot, be, your you, have to you cannot be righteous and die and you should not be responsible because you die for your sins. Show me that. Okay. Are we going to acknowledge that there was a sin sacrifice? That was done through animals. Read it from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. For the life, and this is Leviticus 17, 17 yeah, 11. It says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, that I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is blood that makes an atonement for your souls. Just give it to him. <laughs> He gave okay, him work. Look, let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. He's smiling because he knows why he's. No, no, no. no. Bible, bro. I know, and the Quran as well. Let's talk to What was that about? Is that about men or was it about the sacrificing of the sheep? It, it was. And the sheep. It's not it a man. You see what? No, no, no. I was well, asking the question. Someone dying for your sins. That is not the teaching of the Old Testament. There is a Jewish people here. Please, we can. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait. I agree. Look, I, I, I'm on the gate. There is some sins. Wait, wait, wait. wait. But look how chic us. Do you want the answer though? If you don't let me finish, then I will tell you if I want the answer. You've not wanted the answer three times, just so you're aware. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 My point here is my point here. Let's not have a My point here is that this is as the Jewish people tell you about the Old Testament, there is an intentional sin and there's intentional sins. Some sins, what you do is an act of worship to sacrifice the sheep and will the sins forgiven. Okay? But not every sin will be forgiven. My point here is you believe someone died for your sins. Uh -huh. In the Old Testament, that is not the teaching. Okay. You should be responsible.
to teach you to be responsible for your sins or someone for your sins. Talks about a sacrifice. I ask you a question. Brother, the Old Testament. No, in the Old Testament, they teach you. Have you read Leviticus? Okay, it's for you to understand. No, 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 I'm going to show something to my brothers and sisters. Answer me. No. Um, exactly, which is 18, is it 1820? That is. Uh, okay. uh, we will go, we will go. Press anyone. 17. Three buttons. Is it early? So I've placed 2020 then. Yeah. So, you. 1820. Okay. 20, okay. Okay, let us hear my brother. My question was simply Does in the Bible, does in the Bible teach you should someone die for your sins? For your sins, all of it, yeah? Does that teach you? Expose you here. No, it does it or not? Okay, let's. It doesn't teach you. It teach you to be responsible for your sins, yeah? Okay. Uh, 20, uh, 21. Wicked man, or before that, 2020, the soul who sins shall die. And we know everybody die. What does that mean, shall die? What does that mean? Explain that to them or explain that. You, you should, okay. Um, explain that. So, should die meaning you would not be living eternal life eternal in paradise, yeah? So, because why? Even every soul should die. So, just to make that clear. So, uh, let's go back. No, it's not. Yeah. The soul whose sin shall die, the son should not share the guilt of the father. If you commit sin, your father should not be responsible for it. But he said, the, the, the Christianity, every Hitler, big, the biggest murderer in the history, if he believe in Christianity, for his sins. Watch this. Watch this, yeah? So let us read again. But if a wicked man turns from all his sins, which he has committed, keep all my status, and that's what is lawful and right. He shall surely live. He should not die. None of the transgressions, uh, none of the transgressions which he has committed shall be remembered against him. Uh, it's small writing, my brother. And guess, uh, against him because of the righteousness which he has done. He shall live. Do I have any pleasure? At all. So my point here is clearly, if you're a wicked man and you turn away from your wickedness and you do righteousness, righteousness, your wickedness should not be held against you. And this goes along with the Quran that if you do righteous actions, you, you and you repent away from the from the sins, that sins will not remember against you. Okay. Allah forgive those sins. Yeah. So now, in the Old Testament clearly, there is no passage that says you cannot be righteous and see someone die for your sins, for your sins. So my question again. Bible for you again. For Can you show Bible. us where the Bible, the Old Testament teaches you that you will be until sin. You sacrifice because this act of war. That's sin. Oh, you not some Old Testament even. Okay, so, the so platform for you. I, I want to let you know that I feel that you went off a couple of times, but so I had the same respect to show you great say yeah, nothing. nothing. So when am I going to speak? As if I have grace to let me finish. Can you respect that? Ah, I don't okay, know about that because I have to pin you Thank down. You very much. Thank you very much. I will pin you down. Okay. Brilliant. As long as you answer my question, yeah? Okay. I'll answer your question. Before you, you tell us your last story. I'm going to tell a last story. Okay, You're good. being silly. You didn't. So, so. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I know, wait. Are you going to come in and show us where in the Old Testament? In this verse. No, no, in, the old, in this verse. That someone should die for your sins, all of it. Come in. Come in. Can you ignore yeah, come on. Listen to the question, yeah? Someone should die for all your sins. Yeah. A person or blood? A person, a person. No, a second person sheep is active for worship. I know that. It's not answering. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not shouting. He's going to say this. If he's not a person, you're going Yeah, come back. Yeah, come back. That's true. Because, because the paganism according to the Old Testament. He's not going to acknowledge it. Anyway, go on. So you can't answer it. Why? Okay, no problem. It's a person, yeah? 
Is that, no, it's, I'm here. Yes. That's like me saying, I talk about a pink shoe, don't talk. Oh, no, no, shoe. no, it's not don't that. Talk. It's not oh, that because. On, no, 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 no. Just let me speak. Let me clarify yeah. something. For a minute. Let me clarify I don't like. Of course, it's my voice. It's my voice. Come on. Just. Right, if someone himself. I'm just. But I'm just. Let me speak. I'm going to show you something. Everyone else is listening, bro. I just, what I just want to emphasize something. Because you misunderstand me. I don't. You did. This is of waste of time. You two waste of time. No, no. no, but what I'm saying. Listen, so, so, it says, says, so you come eat at me. I'm going to ask the question. But after you can ask the question. I'm not even talking to you now. I don't interrupt you. All right, take care of yourself. You're not talking to me. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now, what do you come? Because this. My question is simply, do you know why? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. they read it. Cool. Cool. Sins of the Father. Yeah, take care of yourself. May Allah bless you. Yeah. Anyway, what we say to you? My point, you can go. No, I can speak. They shout, and you want to move aside? You want to move aside? Yeah. I read, oh, look. But we can do, should we get a Jewish man to explain it? Should I do a Jewish man to see if I'm, yeah, should I do a Jewish man? Will you let him speak? I will let him, of course, of course. Are you sure? Yeah. Like, you don't let anyone else speak? Better mind, which Jewish man is going to come? Are you sure you're going to let him speak? Because if you're going to let him speak, we can do that. I'll just let you speak, so I need to speak now. Yeah, for like five seconds. Yeah, but I'll let you speak, though. Yeah, but for five seconds. I got you, though. I got grace for you to speak for like ten minutes. Let me call your fan. Ask me any question about Islam, I'll answer it. Okay. Understand? Look, like, you know, it's not about that. It's not. I would say, look, in the camera. I would clearly, look, I would explain to him if you the Old Testament, someone died for your sins, that is not the blood atonement. Listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Blood atonement atones for sin. Do you accept that? That was what God instituted in the Torah. No, time. I agree. Like a that can be. If you were poor, sometimes you had to use flour, but instead it was representing. But the that blood. is a charity. That no, is no, a cha no, 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 it was meant to represent the blood. No, no, but what I'm saying, in the Old Testament, yeah. there is no one. Like, for example, the Leviticus and Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. no, I'm sorry, Deuteronomy and Ezekiel clearly teaches that you should be responsible for your sins. That is teach that. We agree that. So Would you agree with that? Agree okay, that. That, thank you very much. No, that was my, oh, sorry, okay. that was my point. My point is here, when you read the Old Testament, the Old Testament, all through the Old Testament, no one come with the teaching that someone is going to die for your sins. Don't worry about your sins. No, no, yeah? no, no, see that, see, you're mischaracterizing what Christians teach. No, Christians, don't worry about your We don't teach that. I didn't say that. Okay. Is, I'm saying is Christianity that you can commit sin, okay? And as long as you believe Jesus died for your sins, all your sins will be forgiven. Is that correct? Okay, so if you truly repent and believe, it's about repentance. But how do you repent if you die for your sins? Say that again. How are you going to. How are you going to. In the, in the Bible, it says, the Bible repentance means think again. It means to think again. Take a second look. Take a second look. To, to regret so, your action. So to your... understand what truth is. No, no, that's not repentance. Repent is. I know. Think. If you commit sin, yeah. you think. Done. You yeah. understand? But I'm saying, if someone died for my sins, then for me, because I, the sins been. Make clear. Let me watch. Your foot has been paid off. Whatever you yeah. Doesn't mean because you say it's better energy, it will be better energy, you know? Your food is going to be paid off. I paid your food. I paid, you know? 
Even I said to the man, Kill. listen, just stab me for the sake of giving him food. Now, if you go to the shop, he cannot tell you, listen, you have to figure out payments. Because already there's a condition if I'm going to get a stab for you to be paid. Now, if Jesus died for our sins, therefore, there's no more sins. Because our sins is being paid off. Okay. It's a logical way. Your analogy is poor. And let me explain. Can you pay money for it? No, no, this is what my plan is. Okay. God has made a way for all of our sins to be atoned for. But in order for you to accept what God's free gift, you have to repent and accept. It's not about, oh, it's been paid for, so automatically you're forgiven. But it's a contradiction though. No, it's not a contradiction. Okay. Not at all. Did Jesus die for our sins? No, he didn't, die. he didn't die for sins for people who did not believe in him. No, he didn't. I, I understand. So he, he died. So, so, so he only fool. Yeah, people need to calm down, man. Yeah, yeah. Hello, 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 It surprised us. No, 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 I'm, I'm used to always seeing this. Yeah, man. this is crazy, Achim, man. I see you, He's not I good look. That were on the camera. It was bad. I've got my girlfriend here. She wants to become a Muslim. Okay, let's go then. Yeah, no, 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 no. But one second, okay. I'm coming. I'm just yeah. 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 All of us. Here. Yeah. Bro, what should I do with this? Yeah. I just leave it on this. Where's your mic? Oh. Where's your mic?